Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Grossman and I want to talk to you about extensions. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom left to the launcher and I do see the web store is right here. If for any reason it's not, go ahead and click this up arrow and look for it. You might even have to go to a second or third page. So once you find that web store, go ahead and click on that and uh, generally it'll take you just to a home page. And so extensions help enhance the functionality of your Chrome browser. And earlier in another video, I said there were like many apps. And I know that I use the Loom app, but I can also go up here and use the Loom extension. And basically it will give me some of the same functions. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually search the store for screenshot tools. And if I don't know the name of a particular one. Um, I'm going to go to screenshot extensions. And if I scroll down here, I kind of want to make sure it has at least three stars and up so I can see if any of these look good to me. I did hear some good things about Nimbus. And so you can see that I added it. It already says added. And I recently heard about Lightshot. So if I click on this, I can just like with the apps, I can take a look. They have a little video for me to walk me through some of the things that it does. And I can say, yes, this looks like something I need. Let me go ahead and look at the overview. And then I can go up and I can check out some of those reviews and see what they have to say. And then when I'm ready, I can add it to Chrome. It is going to ask for permissions. I'm going to go ahead and add this extension. It's telling me basically, hey, it's up here in the right. So now I can use it. So let's say that I am actually at the Logan Support High School site and I tell all of my students to go to the Explore button. And once they're there, maybe I want them to go to a certain area, but I want to highlight that in a screenshot. So I'm actually now going to click on this extension where it says take a screenshot and it's telling me now to select the area. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of select this area right here. And now I have some options. So you'll notice I have a pen. I can make a line. I can do an arrow. I'm going to click on that arrow and maybe I want students to go to the for students section and I want to take a screenshot of this. Maybe I even want to do a few more things if I want to put a rectangle around that then I can do that. I can even start to work with a marker. Notice once I click that marker, this color actually changed to yellow. So if I don't want yellow, then I'll have to go in and pick something else. And if I start to go up here in the green and I click the green, I have to go down here. I know it's hard to see, but you have to click OK for this to work. So if for any reason I want to say uh, I'm writing the word click, I know this is uh, much larger than needed, but you never know what you're going to need. So, so there I have said click and, um, it, it should stand out to anyone who's looking at this. So some of my other options, I can save this image. I can copy it. I can print it. It looks like I can search similar images. I can share it and I can upload it to a printscreener.com. I'm just actually going to um, hit the save button. Maybe this is something I want to add on a Google Doc or, and, and I want to be able to get back to it again. So I'm going to hit that save and it's going to bring up my file manager and I'm going to go ahead down here where it says download and I'll call it um, Barry's website screenshot just to give me an idea. I'll hit save. So I should be able to access that later. So if I were to go to my, oh, let's just go to a brand new Google Doc instead of Google Drive and Docs and wait for this to open up and go to blank. Double click on that. Give it just a moment. And now I have a lot of options. If I want to insert an image, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get that from my computer. So if you're on a, I'm on a Chromebook right now, so it may look different if you're on a different, different device, like a Windows device. So I'm going to click that and open. And now 
it's going to load it. And so we see now I can have this in something attached to Schoology for students maybe who don't understand my directions if I didn't for whatever reason want to actually just make a short video about where to go to find some information. So that's just one extension. I know I talked earlier this spring about Gmail audio alerts. That's an extension. And so that was something I found in the web store with Kevin Reed's suggestion. And um, you can change it anytime. So like right now the sound is simple. Let me go to clean. Try future. And maybe I want to go with future, so I save settings. And now anytime I get that new Gmail, it's going to sound differently. You can also, if you're tired of the noises, you can say none mute. You've just got to remember to save those settings and then go back and turn that on. So I do have some called like save to Google Drive. Um, I've been working a lot with Grammarly and Here's my other screenshot tool, the Bitmoji extension. I'll go ahead and click on that. And what's nice about if you add the Bitmoji extension, if I want to have something, let's say I want to wish someone a happy birthday, then I can just type that in there. And now this is something I can copy and paste into emails if I don't have it already on my keyboard or if I want to make them a uh, an individual card or something. So there are lots of fun extensions out there. And if I go back to the Chrome Web Store and I go home, then you can search them the way that you do apps. So if I want to find something for social studies, let's see what they have in here. <clears throat> um, I can look just at extensions and students can add these as well as long as they're cleared by our administration. And I always like to start with um, the most stars, but I'll go ahead and say, hey, at least three and up. And you could take a look at what these might do. They may be related to the search you had or something else. So you may just hear about extensions or you might find some great ones by searching. I'd say if you find some great ones, please share them with the rest of us.